Hello, and welcome to the Caterpillar ITDD Advanced Technologies and Solutions Proc Support video overview about registering, subscribing, and configuring a PL542 device. If you have not already, it is recommended that you watch our PL542 hardware overview and PL542 installation channel 1 videos before watching this video. Once a PL542 has been installed, it is ready to be processed. First, we'll discuss creating an equipment data entry. Next, we'll talk about changing the serial number and the make in order to register the PL542. After that, we'll talk about subscribing the PL542 through the DSP or dealer service portal. Next, we'll discuss configuring the hours through the VisionLink user interface, as well as configuring new alerts and groups. To subscribe a PL542, just like any other product link device, there needs to be an equipment data record for the machine that it was installed on. Contact the PL admin to create an equipment data record with the machine's serial number, make, model, and year of manufacture. This is so that your device and asset will be associated with the correct dealer and customer. Changing the serial number of the device can be done two ways, one of which is through the Caterpillar Dealer Services Portal, or DSP, which we will cover in this video. It can also be done through the CAT Activate app. Keep an eye out for our CAT Activate Channel 1 video in which we will discuss the various capabilities of the app. Although the PL542 may pull in the machine's engine serial number, the easiest way to search for the device will be the 16-digit serial number located on the labels at the top and bottom of the device, so make sure that this serial number is recorded. To find the device, go to the My Worklist tab of the DSP. Three text boxes will appear on the left side of the screen. The top box, displaying SN, standing for serial number, is going to be where we enter that 16-digit serial number from before. Once the serial number has been entered in, hit the Enter key or click the Search button below the text boxes. The device profile will pop up, displaying the device info and whatever information about the machine the PL542 was able to detect over the data link. Next step is to edit the name of the device. First, click the drop-down menu on the right side of the screen that shows the different subscription options. One of the options will be Vision Link. Select that one and a pencil will appear next to the serial number. Click the pencil and a window will pop up with some suggested serial numbers, a make box where the make of the machine will be entered, and a bubble that says new serial number. If the new serial number option has been chosen, a product ID will be needed for CAD assets or a machine serial number will be needed for any third-party machines. Once an ID has been chosen and entered, click the save button and the ID will be sent. Please be aware that both the serial number and make will need to match the equipment data record from before in order to subscribe the device. Once this has all been done in the services menu, choose Vision Link and the desired subscription and then click Save Sync. Now that the device is subscribed, after a brief period, it will be shown in the Vision Link fleet page. It may be displayed as Awaiting First Report, which just means it hasn't received a message yet. But just because it hasn't reported doesn't mean that it can't be configured for the user. There are a multitude of things that can be done, such as changing the hours on the device, setting up alerts for numerous events, and adding the machine into one of your chosen groups. To change the hours, odometer, or daily report time, go to the Administration tab at the top of the Fleet List section. The first option in the drop-down menu should say Device Configuration. Click it, and Vision Link will go to another Fleet List. Once here, find the machine to be configured and click Configure Devices. A window will pop up with the machine in it. Also displayed will be a text box to change the odometer, hours, and the device's daily report time. Enter in the desired value into any of the designated text boxes and click Send. Next, we will cover Alerts. From here, we will click the Administration tab in the top right and click Alerts under Manage. On the next screen, there will be a button in the top right for New Alerts. Clicking this button will pull up a menu where assets can be sorted out by what has been searched for, what group they are in, what site they are on, machine type, certain serial numbers, or even what type of product link device is on the machine. Here we're going to search for our asset, and once it is chosen, we will click the one button to move it over. The next thing to do is to select what alert is going to be used. It can be anything from receiving an alert when a diagnostic code has occurred to finding out when a machine has stopped or started. You can also pick your schedule for when you would like to receive the alerts. You can have it for all periods of time or just certain hours such as 9 to 5. On the next screen, pick your context for who you'd like to receive the alerts for. The last page is the summary page. The only thing that needs to be done here is you need to add a title used to identify the alert. 
Once the desired title has been added, click the Done, Save, and Close. An alert has now been created for your machine, group, or fleet. Next, we will make some groups. Click on the Administration tab like before, but instead now click Groups under Manage. Same as with the alerts, you can click the New Groups button on the top right. A page will appear with various machines. A title will need to be added in order to save the group, so let's do that first. Now machines can be found and added in a few different ways like before. If you would like to add all of your machines that are being displayed, click the double arrow. If only a few machines need to be added, you can pick and choose from the list by selecting the machine and clicking the single arrow. Once you have selected all your desired machines, click Save and the group will be added to your list. That concludes this training video. Make sure to watch our other videos on Channel 1, searchable by using the product link keyword.